Hello and welcome to my channel, Green Line Goddess. This is a weekly check-in for your heart and just a little quick look at love. Uh, it, so we're just this is going to be a quick check-in for all signs. So let's start with Scorpio. I hope that you're all well. Let's. I'm going to pick three cards for you. One card, a message from your soul and spirit for, for your heart. What's transforming in love this week? And what is being resolved this week? Ah, wow. Scorpio, okay, the card that came out for you was Turtle. Beautiful card for you. And when this card comes, it's a real soul-connected energy. The message for your heart is to connect into your soul and understand that you're on this journey of your heart at this moment in time. And when you connect into that energy, you actually feel really, really good. It's this real reassurance and knowing of where you are and where you're going. And it might be that you're feeling a bit like in the middle of nowhere, you're free forming, you're in this sort of journey, but you... Uh, it's this sense of you're okay where you are. You're okay where you're at at this moment. So this is your soul asking or spirit asking you to connect deeply to your heart and see what where your soul is asking you to go because this is a very beautiful emotional journey here. So let's look at what is transforming for you this week, Scorpio. Oh, what is, what's transforming for Scorpio this week in love oh, message in love and with the turtle message coming in as well it might actually be saying keep an eye out for a soulmate that's real soulmate energy your uh, your focus might even be on your soulmate so yeah it could be any of those things, but it's asking you to kind of look at your connection with your soulmate. Too many cards there. What is transforming for Scorpio? We have temperance. Okay, so things are starting to come back into balance. Things that have been out of balance in your life in terms of your love life, things that you might have been missing or going without, whatever that might be, there is balance being restored on an emotional level for you guys, Scorpio, particularly in, in relation to your heart and your love life. So if it is related to definitely we're look, looking at this turtle energy here, soulmate energy or connection to soul energy, there seems to be a rebalancing of your connection with somebody. If it is that you are looking for a soulmate, there is actually very good energy around you making a connection in relation to that, someone that is on the same soul journey or soul path as you. This could be romantic as well. It doesn't necessarily have to be though Scorpio, it could just be finding someone that you really connect with. So yeah, it's really nice energy. What will get resolved this week? Let's look at what will get resolved for Scorpio. Ah, we have the three of pentacles. So this is uh, some kind of project. This is something you've been working on. There's initial success here. There is recognition. What might get resolved is uh, a promotion or some sort of elevation, rising in stature in terms of work or just uh, in terms of the eyes. But there, this is a group project as well that for some of you, this is a group project that has found some initial success. So, yeah, definitely with this three of pentacles energy coming through, there's a completion of some sort of something you've been working on. So beautiful energies for you coming through, Scorpio. Let's move on to Pisces. Let's move on to Pisces. So a love check-in, messages for your heart, Pisces. I'm trying to shuffle. And messages for your heart. What can we get for Pisces? What do you need to know at the moment? What is your soul and spirit wanting to communicate to you in terms of a message? Oh, we have Firefly. Wow, this is beautiful. So you might have moments where your heart lights up. Uh, moments of inspiration even. Moments of attraction. Moments of some fire and chemistry between somebody. So these are fleeting moments though. This isn't something that is like... It's it's little exciting moments that make your heart flutter. 
So these can lead to longer term things, but the the notion of the firefly is something gets illum- illuminated briefly. So it might actually be truths and realizations on, that are being revealed to you, and you're getting glimpses of that and sudden like, oh, now I understand that. So that could also be what the firefly is meaning for you guys, Pisces. Now I'm going to put pick two more cards. What is being transformed for you? At the moment, on a love and heart level, or relationship level, however you want to look at it, what is being transformed and what is being resolved? Okay, so awesome. Two cards have come out, the Magician and the Six of Swords, I think. So the Magician is what's being transformed, and this is definitely your confidence and your ability to actually feel like you have the, the means to actually be doing what it is that you love, doing what it is that you want. These are these moments of inspiration that are coming through for you, Pisces. So it's very beautiful. And this could also be somebody in your life, the magician. This could be an Aries that's coming through, someone very attractive, someone that can really make, has made something of themselves. But there's just this sense of there's lots of possibilities. So there's suddenly an opening up of possibilities which is beautiful for a love and heart level and coming with that six of swords energy the resolution this week is moving to karma waters i think you're going to find some peace some peace uh for you not only you but the people around you so it's finding a happier place a karma place Uh, there might have been some some worries some rough water around you in terms of your emotional life and things are going to calm down so and there's going to be moments of inspiration moments of connection moments of truth and you're going to be opening up a lot of possibilities and perhaps confidence so wow exciting week for you guys pisces let's move on to cancer let's move on to cancer So Cancer, weekly check-in for you in terms of your heart, what's happening? What can we get as a message for you on a message from your soul or spirit? And then I'm going to look at, pull two more cards, what is transforming in your life and what is being resolved at this moment in time. So what can we get for Cancer? What can we get for Cancer? What can we get for you, Cancer? What card wants to come out? Oh. We've got two cards coming out, message. We have Turtle and Scorpion. And interesting, it's funny because the Scorpio's just got Turtle. And Turtle is actually your card here, Cancer. So this could be a relationship with a Scorpio. So this could be being highlighted this week. Uh, So message from your heart is definitely you're on a soul journey with this person. They also like in terms of a heart level, it's that the message is there's no need to protect yourself. That actually, because the turtle has the interestingly, the turtle has got the protection around it, a bit like the cancer card in the tarot deck, which is the chariot. Uh, it's this sense of feeling vulnerable and protecting yourself and nurturing yourself and home is really important. And right next to that is this Scorpio. So if you're living with a Scorpio, obviously that's something that's going to be the utmost importance to you this week that's going to be highlighted. But you can see that the sting from whatever that has hurt you or could potentially be hurting you is going in the opposite direction. You're not being hurt by someone this week. You're actually quite protected. So if someone has been, there's been some arguments or whatever has been going on, someone has hurt you, you are actually being soul protected this week. So I think you're going to be feeling a lot more secure around your heart energy. Uh, And the soul and spirit are saying they've got your back. They've got your back. So what else can we get for cancer? What is being transformed this week? What is being transformed (laughs) We have Temperance. Again, this is the same, very similar card. Was it Pisces or Scorpio? I think Scorpio got this as well. So I think you and the Scorpions are very similar energy 
actually the cancer. So if you've got Scorpio in your chart as well, this is very powerful rebalancing. It's very, the total card's also a soul mate connection. So very much, um, you know, connecting into those of your same soul tribe, a soul mate or finding a soul mate or not being hurt by previous hurts with that scorpion energy or it could be around a scorpion soulmate energy here. But what's been transformed is this temperance card as being bringing everything back into balance. So things that have been out of balance, and I'm kind of getting that within a relationship because we have that scorpion en scorpionic energy coming in. Someone may have been, there may have been some kind of tension or conflict within a relationship. That is being rebalanced. There is flow, there's harmony coming back and this angel coming in, there's this sense of protection and expansion coming into your world on a heart level. So that's beautiful. Things are, balance is being restored, which is really beautiful, Cancer. So let's see what is getting resolved. <laughs> so that is what's transforming. Let's see what's being resolved. And part of that is a resolution as well. So let's have a look. What's being resolved for Cancer? Ah, here we go. The Five of Cups. So yeah, that's what we're saying. There's a, a loss there's been some kind of disappointment or pain with that energy of like being suddenly immune or protected from that sting of the Scorpio. That I mean, this, there doesn't have to necessarily be a Scorpio. I don't want you to get caught up in that because for some of you, it's a highlighting a nice relationship with a Scorpio that has perhaps been a little bit out of balance. For some of you, this has been something that's been far deeper, a past relationship that has actually really hurt you and that you've been carrying around with you for a little while and you still might be carrying it with you. But with that total energy, you're feeling a little bit more protected. You're on your own journey now. And so with the balance card coming in, with the temperance energy coming in, this beautiful Sagittarius energy and expansion, I feel it that that um, any, any sort of someone that has hurt you from the past, that is being resolved. There's a resolution here, whether it's with that person or within yourself, and therefore you're free and feeling more protected and safe. So I hope that makes sense, Cancer. Okay, let's move on to Leo. Leo, 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 message for your heart. And I'm going to pull three cards, message for your heart from soul and spirit. What's transforming this week and love and relationships and what's being resolved. So Leo, what can we get for you, my beautiful Leos? Let's see, what message from soul and spirit? Oh. Okay, too many cards there. Uh, let me just try and get down and get that. Hmm. Okay. Right. The cheetah. <laughs> the cheetah most unexpectedly, something unexpected is coming for you. An unexpected surprise is coming straight for you. A message from your heart. Be prepared, Leo. This might also be a goal that you're working towards, that you've been striving towards. Very much is going to be on your mind. A determination, Leo. And things could actually happen faster than you think. The cheetah is a very fast moving card. On a heart level, this could be someone that you've got an eye on or someone's got an eye on you. They are coming. <laughs> they really like you. Someone really likes you or you like them. There's a very strong connection and it's going, I feel like the two of you definitely could be getting together quite fast. So for some of you, this is a goal or something you've been working towards and for others, this is a, this is a, uh, finding someone that you really like. It, there is an unexpected, unconventional surprise way that this is going to come for you, Leo. So, And for others, it's a goal that you're working towards. Either way, it's a very determined, very directional energy that I just feel like the message from Soul and Spirit is watch out, Leo, be prepared, not in a warning way, in a kind of an exciting way, like, you know, are you ready for this? 
Okay, so what's being transformed this week for Leos and what is being resolved? What is being transformed? Wow, the Tower Energy, big change coming in and quite swiftly, I would say, Leo. So whatever has actually what is being transformed is this element of instability that might have been happening in your life. It also some sort of chaos. It could be related to things that just weren't or situations, uh, anything that hasn't been built on good foundations, anything that's not fitting in your world anymore, that's all been transformed and cleared. And that's why I feel like there's this very strong, um, sorry, Leo, so I accidentally stopped recording by accident. Anyway, there's a very strong there's a big change coming in. There's a very strong new direction opening up here for you, Leo. So, yep, beautiful. It could also be a relationship that wasn't built on very good foundations, that wasn't good for you, that is transforming. So let's see what is being resolved this week. But I feel like with that cheetah energy, you are heading in the right direction very strongly, being guided. Your heart knows what it is knows where it's going, knows what it wants. Okay, what's being resolved for Leo this week? What's being resolved for you, Leo? wait for the right card to come out sometimes it's like I'm not quite ready okay here we have the nine of cups so your happiness here your sense of fulfillment okay have you been yeah that's definitely what's resolving here so uh and this nine of cups energy is a beautiful happiness but everything's starting to line up everything is starting to fall into place and it's because of work that you've put in, Leo. So it's going to bring you a lot of happiness. So I think that, yeah, there's going to be a lot of positive change happening on the love and relationship front. And, you know, love and relationships can relate to work because it all feels kind of connected with those energies. So I hope that makes sense, Leo. Let's move on to Sagittarius. Hello, Saggy. How are you? We are picking three cards for you today around love and relationships. One is going to be a message from soul and spirit for your heart. And the other two is what is transforming this week and what is resolving. So what can we get for Saggy? Message for the heart. We've got two cards that have come out for you, Sagittarius. We have Lamb and Hyena, two polarities of energies. So... It, you might be feeling two ways about something this week with these energies coming out. There's, there's like polar opposite energy. So the lamb energy is very innocent. It's almost a, like an inner child, childlike energy. And the hyena's very, got to, uh, someone, the very two sides to its energy. It can be very charming and fun to be around, but can also be very sarcastic and a bit gnarly, like a bit like, someone's annoying me a bit. And so you can go kind of go through these two extremes. So I feel like you might be feeling all of this at once, Sagittarius. But just to understand that if this is how you're feeling, uh, it seems to be affected by the moon energy that's happening at the moment. So you might be affected by that. So beautiful Sagittarius here that's... <laughs> Someone is like you could be feeling a bit irritable and then but it's someone you actually care for a lot or vice versa. There's just polarities in the way you're feeling about something that will come out. So, yes, don't be surprised if you might be feeling two ways about something and one of them might be um, a little bit. Yeah, the hyena energy is very um, a, yes, yeah, like sarcastic almost energy, like it's a bit gnarly and a bit irritable. So, yeah, that's okay. I think that energy will pass. And if this is someone that is being like you, it's like the sheep's, the sheep, the wolf in sheep's clothing, it might be actually a warning to some of you to watch out for someone that is a, looking like something but really is something else. So they're presenting as something nice and sweet and innocent, but really they're, 
you know, that hyena energy, they're a, a bit bitchy behind your back or they've got an, uh, two sides to them. So it's interesting. Uh, there's something about resolving polarities of energy within your heart. There's, you might be encountering this this week, Sagittarius. So let's see what's transforming for you. We have love. Love is transforming for you here, Sagittarius. So I can only say that this energy here, sometimes when you start getting irritated or confined or annoyed within a space, it's because you're ready to grow, out, you've outgrown a situation and you're making space for this lovely healing and love to come through. So this is what's being transformed, your heart, your love life. <laughs> so beautiful. Okay, so what what's being resolved this week for you, Sagittarius? What's being resolved? So I'm excited. I'm excited about this. What's being resolved? This could be around a child as well, like we were saying. Um, oh, wow, the Nine of Cups. And interesting, this is what Leo got as well. The same signs, like the water signs were getting similar cards and now the fire signs are getting similar cards. The Nine of Cups, what is being resolved is your sense of fulfillment and happiness and, you know, your love life is being transformed. So that's really beautiful. So um, and like I said, everything's starting to fall into place. Everything's starting to line up. So uh, that when this happens again, when this good influx of this really beautiful, amazing energy is coming through for you, Sagittarius, people that don't fit with that vibration can... Uh, not you might get a sense that some people don't feel like they fit or you're just irritated with some people or some people's energies. Just But the message with that moon is this is cyclical. It will, two will pass. Someone might be annoying you this week. Next week they won't because you're going through this huge internal transformation on a heart level here, Saji. So, and it also might mean that you need your space as well. You need to be that little lamb energy and to allow this beautiful new energy to come through. So you kind of like going to people, back off, I need my space. So that's also another aspect of that energy that can be that can be coming through. Okay. So, but yeah, amazing week for you guys, Saji. Let's look at Aries. Aries, I hope that you are well this week. We're looking at your love and relationships. I'm going to pull three cards for you. First card is a message for your heart from soul and spirit. Second card will be what is transforming for you this week. And the third card is what is resolving. So let's see, what can we get for Aries? Wow. Wow. Okay, I'm just going to tick off these cards. Okay, Buffalo, wow. Something big is happening on a heart level, something divine, something that happens maybe sometimes for some of you once in a lifetime because that's what this omen is so fortuitous, this Buffalo omen. So it's something divine that a divine blessing is coming through for you, Aries. So, yeah, something amazing is... is be ready for this. So, yeah, this beautiful energy coming through for you guys with the buffalo coming through Aries. So let's see what's transforming for you, Aries. Let's see. We have the Page of Pentacles. Okay, so what's transforming is an opportunity. There's an opportunity here and there might be news around that opportunity and a sense of now you can... There's a sense of wonder with this, that the world is your oyster. So this, there is an, a, there's an opportunity coming through for you here, Aries. And, it, you know, this can be definitely, you know, it's love and relationship, but that can also be career. It could be a new opportunity for something you love. But either way, it's someone's something precious or something special that is coming through and this isn't a new opportunity that's coming through. It's transforming or an opportunity that may have been in your life before that didn't or someone that didn't feel like anything was happening. Something is transforming with this connection. So, but I really feel like this is something that just kind of out of the blue, a gift, a gift. There's this amazing golden opportunity. Oh, wow. And what is transforming 
Oh, my gosh. If you had seen what Leo and Sagittarius got the nine of cups, you guys have got the ten of cups. The fire signs are definitely their happiness. Oh, sorry, this is what's being resolved, is something that's making you happy. Your happiness is being resolved. This is your happily, happily ever eh, happily ever after. It's the rainbow bridge. It's relationships and family. So there's this real opportunity now to, to step into something quite magical and amazing on that front. And so, yeah. This dream or ideal is being resolved for you. There's, uh, them, yeah, there's happiness on the home front coming in for you. So, yeah, beautiful energy, <laughs> really amazing energy, Aries. I hope that that makes sense for some of you guys. It, this combination of cards is like, you know, on a love and relationship level, this is, yeah, you can't get that much better than this. Okay, let's move on to Capricorn. Capricorn, how are you this week? This is your weekly check-in for love and relationship. We're going to pull three cards for you. Uh, we're going to pull one, a message for your heart from soul and spirit. We're going to pull another one, which is what is transforming this week, and another one, which is what is resolving. So what can we get for Sagittarius? Oh, okay. Message from your heart, a message for your heart, sorry, is the zebra card. Now, this is such a beautiful card because the message from your soul and spirit is to saying that you're very unique, you're very special, and that to tap into that, to actually acknowledge how your, how amazing you really are, to acknowledge what it is that makes you you is the message coming through with this uh, Capricorn because the zebra's got its own stripes. So it's kind of saying, you know, do things your way. Uh, be There's a self-acceptance energy here. There's a self-love energy of allowing yourself to shine and be yourself and accepting you for who exactly who you are, all the amazing, unique abilities that you've got, and letting that shine. So it might be a case of showcasing some of your talents this week as well, Capricorn, and being kind of urged to let the world know who you are and what you're made out of, or let someone significant know. Uh, so it's revealing, <laughs> you're revealing your inner talents and gifts and abilities to the world or to some significant other person or group so but yeah the message from from spirit is you are special you are special so beautiful energy coming through for you Capricorn let's pull some cards about what's transforming this week for you what is transforming for Capricorn The world. Wow. Okay. So something is, there's a breakthrough here. Something is completing. Okay. There's, there's an ending of a cycle. So something has finished. So that's what's, that's what's transforming is uh, something that a cycle that you've been in is starting something new. It's breaking through to the other side and so, yeah, while you're in this wonderful new space, uh, there could be fulfillment coming in with this world card world card as well. It's really like, uh, you know, with that and the zebra together, there is this sense of, you know, allowing yourself to shine. There is fulfillment here, like I said. So beautiful energies I'm going to pull the card the next card what is resolving for you Capricorn what is resolving for Capricorn and it, something might have fi finished or completed and it's a question of where to next and what you're really being uh, asked to draw upon is authenticity here uh, with the message to your heart be authentic about where your your new direction, where you're heading. And, you know, what's being resolved is this four of swords energy is, for some of you, this is health. This is uh, uh, finding 
uh, good health again. This is a res- this is recovery from a period of ill health. It's also, you know, uh, a sense of making sense of something, really making sense of whatever this c- cycle was that has completed, something has finished, whatever it was that's finished in your world now. It's making sense of that and you'll have a very clear pers- pers- perspective, Capricorn, because that's – this four of swords energy is very much looking at the past and looking at what's occurred and understanding it. And so this understanding is being resolved and the whole situation is it, there's there's an ending to this cycle. So, yeah, it's very much, mm, it's very powerful. It's very powerful. And I think what you found in this cycle is understanding your uniqueness, your unique gifts and abilities. So, yeah, very much kind of being pushed out of hiding or kind of being a period of non-action here is being resolved. You're kind of being asked to act and to to move forward now in a really authentic way. So expressing your heart and your personality with authenticity is kind of the key word for you Capricorn so I hope that makes sense for you it's really it's really powerful stuff coming through okay let's move on to to Taurus Taurus how are you oh cards already popped flown flown out for you Taurus message for your heart and we're going to pull another two cards which is what's transforming in love and relationships and what's being resolved this week the message you have is the snake energy which is a really beautiful energy coming through the snake energy often is you know something has completed something is ready to open up again in your life in terms of your heart level I mean in terms of your heart you're almost ready to open up again there's been a healing a completion of a healing cycle where you felt the need to protect yourself here with this beautiful snake energy coming through there's nurturing and protection But you can see that the energy is emanating and look at what you've created. Look at who you really are, this beautiful, colourful energy. That energy inside your heart is ready to come out again and express yourself. So there's been a healing, an an ending of a cycle and a healing that has occurred for you, Taurus. So let's look at what has... So yeah, there is definitely an opening up that is about to occur. What is being transformed is this page of cups so there's an offer of love there's a surprise here so this is a surprising they're sort of saying you're, you're being opened up this is also could be related to your creativity as well uh, someone has kind of out someone's going to come and offer you something and it it's not it, like I said, it's not something expected, but it's someone very genuine. Some, so this could be an offer of working with someone, an offer of love, whatever it is, this person coming into your life. It could be a Pisces as well with this Page of Cups energy or a water sign, but not necessarily so. But, yeah, definitely uh, I feel like this is really lovely. This is There's a beautiful innocence to this character and this energy that's coming through for you to through through for you Taurus so yeah this could actually be someone that you know that you didn't realize they felt this way about you or you weren't there's a sense of you not expecting this but I do feel like perhaps you know this person or this situation already or you've made some kind of contact with them so they might have been thinking about it for a while so what else do we have for Taurus what's being resolved this week What's being resolved? What do we have for you, Taurus? Sometimes you have to wait for the right card to to reveal itself, Taurus. Oh, Oh, wow. Here we are. Here you are. King of Pentacles. Wow, you are stepping back into yourself again, feeling yourself again. Wow. 
Oh, wow, Taurus. Oh, my gosh. I'm feeling it on a heart level now. Oh, it feels it feels really good coming back to yourself. My heart is feeling open. Oh, it's like, oh, it's been a while, but gosh. And now I feel like I've found that inner stability. I've found that soul connection, the connection to me. Mm, beautiful beautiful, grounded, feeling really grounded. It's like, oh, I've missed this feeling of feeling this good on a heart level. So whew, coming back to yourself, coming back to your true self, Taurus, I've got goosebumps around this. This is really absolutely beautiful energy. It's making me feel so happy. I'm almost got tears in my eyes here, but you can't see that. <laughs> but anyway, Taurus, I, I think this is so beautiful. This is such beautiful energy coming through for you. So I hope you enjoy it. Let's move on to Virgo. Hello, my beautiful Virgos. So let's see, what have we got for you this week, Virgo? Um, we're pulling out three cards. So one card is going to be a message for your heart from soul and spirit. The next card is what's transforming this week. And the last card is what's being resolved in terms of love and relationship. So what message do we have for you, Virgo? message from your heart message for your heart the amount of times i say that wrong it's not funny what can we get for you virgo just waiting for the right card to pop out oh here we go wow eagle now this is the message this is the real soul message card the eagle connects to soul and spirit the hawk connects to the earthly energies and these this connects to spirit so definitely in terms of a message from your heart it's definitely there's going to be some very strong a deep spiritual connection to soul and spirit this week i feel like that your soul and spirit's got a very particular message it's very much trying to communicate with you you might feel very connected to it if you're not it's going to be trying to give you messages so be open to that okay be very open to that they might come in unexpected ways but yes very definitely wanting to communicate with you, Virgo. So let's find out what this could potentially be about, what's transforming in your life at this moment in time. The Eagle card can also be just out of the blue, a soul connection appears, a really strong soul connection that has been kind of divinely guided and it's a synchronistic event. So let's see, what is transforming in your life, Virgo, what is transforming? So very specific cards for you. <laughs> so the cards are like, nope, until Virgo gets the right card, I'm not coming out. What is transforming for Virgo? Oh, okay. Gosh, we've got lots of cards. Okay, so we have here. This is what's this is what's transforming. This is what's being resolved here with the page of cups, energy coming through. And it's funny because Taurus just got the page of cups as well. So, yeah, definitely the signs are all getting similar things. So, what is transforming is love. <laughs> A particular connection here with someone, with this page of swords energy. This could be. Someone younger than you, it could be a new relationship. It could be a relationship with your child. But whoever this page of swords is, there's a message of go for it with this person, whoever this person is. So it, obviously on a romantic level, yes, um, it's uh, this is out of the blue. It could feel like a very romantic connection coming through for you guys, Virgo. So... Yeah, that's exciting. This is very exciting. And then we have another page. And again, the page is like messages. And we were saying, you're going to get a lot of messages. This person might communicate to you quite directly and clearly. Or it could be, you could hear news that someone is coming. This connection is coming back into your life. or There's communication around it. 
Uh, perhaps other someone else will tell you. Again, another page, so messages. So these can also just be messages from your soul coming through because they're very much trying to communicate that there is someone that they want you to reconnect with or connect with on a heart level. Ver someone very particular here that's coming through, one person. So for some of you, yes, it's romantic, and for others it's it could be, yeah, someone different. But doesn't it's still love there it just doesn't have to be romantic so what is resolving is this page of cups energy which is for some of you this is an apology that you've been waiting for <laughs> this is the apology that you've been waiting for now for others it's there's a softening of energy here there is a this is a someone might surprise you with a peace offering if there's been some kind of conflict and there's a reconnection here. Now, for others of you, there's an element of surprise here. This could be around an, a water sign, so it could be around a Pisces in particular. Uh, but there is so definitely something on offer here. So it might have been that, you know, if this is what's being resolved, there is – it's like if you've been asking for something, you've been asking for some sort of resolution with this – relationship or you've been asking for a new lover or a new soulmate well this is it turning up unexpectedly so <laughs> it's all very exciting it's it's wonderful it's very exciting Virgo so I hope that that makes sense for you and yeah surprises coming in so that's exciting That um, page of cups, Virgo, also can mean creativity as well. So it could be a creative project or someone that you've been collaborating with creatively. That kind of gets, it could have been a creative block that was being resolved. But yeah, anyway, it's a resolution with that person. <laughs> okay, let's move on to Gemini. Gemini? Huh, how are you, Gemini? This is your uh, weekly check-in. We're going to pull for your love and relationships. We're going to pull three cards. One is a message for your heart from soul and spirit. The other two is what's res, res, uh, what's transforming in terms of your love and relationships and what is being resolved this week. So let's move on to Gemini. What do we have? What message from soul and spirit do we have for you, Gemini? Coming through. Okay, we have... three cards for you that have popped out we have the panther with the earthworm which is a, it may have been hard to start something new and it might have been there's some there's an element of something new is starting to there's a struggle here with something that's new a new energy or having to start a new uh, so and with the fish energy swimming upstream this could be for some of you a new relationship that you're wanting to kind of that you've been struggling with. You might be trying to get out of. For other of others of you, there's this sense of you're trying to. Okay, this is what I'm getting now, Gemini. For some, that earthworm energy is like the fool card in the tarot deck it's beginner's mind it's starting anew it's something small it's starting again it's but from this very small thing creates a very fertile space that comes in so this is what I feel like you kind of trying to it's like a seed that you've planted that you're trying to nourish and nurture and grow so this panther energy can also just be like telling people to back off you know it's this energy of protection like I need this energy needs space here this new beginning, this new growth on my heart level needs space because I need to make sure that it grows. You know, i am actually been struggling. It's not the easiest to, to birth this into your life at this moment in time with this fish energy coming through. It could be a bit of an emotion. It could have a lot of emotions attached to it and it definitely could be something that you're trying to find the light, to connect to the light, not the darkness. So it's this, this ambivalence of wanting to start something new, but it's like having to go through that initial stage of the idea of it, that, it, yes, this is kind of what I want. I want to protect this. I want to do this, but then I've got to go and take the next step. 
and taking the next step can sometimes be the hard the hard thing or moving to the next level or whatever it is it's a sense of I just need my space at this moment in time to gather my energy so that I can move up and so I can feel protected and okay and ready to be able to move into this new space. So that's the message that's coming through for you is that you probably do need a little to nurture yourself and to create a bit of a safe psychological or energetic space around you at this moment in order to get to the next phase that you're moving towards here. So I hope that makes sense for some of you, Gemini. Let's look at what's transforming for you. We have the Seven of Cups. So, I mean, there's a lot of possibilities here. There's a lot of things emerging here. So we've had you're looking for growth, you're looking for the next step, the next stages or whatever that want you want to come out of this. And some things are real and some things aren't. It's a matter of trying to process what that is. There's also a sense of having to kind of, you know, um, be quite pragmatic about it, be quite sensible about where you're going with this, not getting too rushed and caught up with uh, the imagination or the idea. It's actually going, okay, what actually is real here? What can I do? What can I create? So uh, there's a discernment that's coming through here and that's what's transforming is that there is a lot of uh, possibilities opening up for you here with this energy Gemini but yes what is transforming along with that is this sense of you being quite <coughs> oh sorry discerning and sensible about how you're assessing that and to have that energy to be able to have that space to think clearly about it and to be connected quite clearly to what it is that you want you need that space and protection that we were talking about so what gets resolved for you, Gemini? What is getting resolved? Let's have a look. Ah, we have the hermit. Okay, so this is you. You're going to find the answers that you've been looking for. This sense that you have to do it all on your own as well might be transforming. Uh, the hermit is very much, uh, this could be a relationship with a Virgo as well for some of you. But I'm getting very clearly with that energy of the panther, earth, worm and fish, that energy of feeling the need to have the space to to understand the path forward and work out the right path forward. And this is exactly what this energy is. You're going to find the answers. You're going to be able to work that out. You're going to be able to um, work out what the next steps are, where you're heading. So that's really, really positive. There is a resolution around this because you need that. You need that. But very much the message from your heart is take some space, time for yourself even, or just create that space around you to, so that you can kind of work. You've got a few things you need to work out. So, yes, definitely. But there is a resolution to it, which is wonderful, Gemini. Okay, Libra. Let's move on to you. What do we have for Libra? Now, Libra, we're going to do, this is your weekly check-in for your love and relationships. We are going to pull three cards. The first card is a message from your soul and spirit uh, about for your heart. The second card is what's transforming in your life. And the third card is what is result, being resolved in your life. So Libra, what can we get? Message for your heart. What message do we have for Libra? Just waiting for the right card to come out, Libra. Oh, wow. We have the dragon. It was such a powerful card. Here we, ha here we are. Whew. Someone has their eye on you, quite literally. This card's often the card of soul and spirit just w watching you and saying, we've got your back, we're connecting with you. But there's this real sense of someone is really... There's a very, very powerful 
connection coming in for you on a soul level. And this is something that I'm getting this ancient energy with this Libra. So it's someone that I think you've either had a past life connection with or you've had a relationship with the past in the past with it's kind or it could be you know sometimes you meet those people and you just feel like you know them instantly you're just of the same ilk and there's also love and compassion coming through from your soul for you on a very deep level. So this is, you know, if I'm looking at this as a message from the soul, it's also your soul saying, I see you. I see all aspects of you. I see who you are and I love you. You know, I absolutely think you're perfect. So it's this amazing unconditional love coming through for you, Libra. It's so powerful. It's just I can't even look at that eye. <laughs> if I do like this, I'm like, oh, that's like it's almost like looking at a, an angel. It's dazzling, this energy coming through for you. So it's absolutely beautiful. If any of you have, it, it's just going to heal your heart as well. It's that energy that's just so beautiful it almost makes you cry. So <laughs> it's lovely energy, very much your soul sending a lot of love or spirit sending a lot of love down to you. So what is transforming for for you? Wow, the Ace of Wands. Well, there's for some of you this is a new relationship. This is uh this could actually be a sexual relationship as well, but for some of you this is an amazing new opportunity that's coming through for you here. Uh, a creative idea that perhaps you're working on or something that can actually bring some amazing growth. Again, this is like the sense of divinely being gifted to you. There's a divine gift coming. And so something that something has ended, a cycle has ended, and it's like I just uh, the energy I get from that dragon energy is that it's really proud of you. <laughs> It's just a weird energy I'm getting. I'm really proud of you and saying you've kind of got to this stage. You've got this far. You've got to where you are now. Here's, here's your kind of treasure. Here's your gift. So, yeah, it's phenomenal energy, Libra. It really is extraordinary. Whoa, I wish I was a Libra this week. It's really powerful, powerful stuff. Okay, what's resolving for you, Libra? So this is something that's new that's coming in, this energy coming through with the Ace of Wands. And, yeah, I think it's going to be a really amazing, you're just going to go, wow. It's got that wow factor to it. So <laughs> let's see, what's resolving this week for Libras? What's resolving? I think that was the Six of Pentacles. Oh that tried to sneak out. But, yeah, definitely money because we've had three pentacles, the six of pentacles, the nine of pentacles, and the king of pentacles. Definitely it could be related to a job, could be related to a Taurus, it could be related to an earth sign. But I feel like it's related to your work and stability here, Libra. It, it could definitely be related to a soulmate or a father energy or an authority figure with that king of pentacles energy but it's a uh, what's resolving is like this sense of moving forward it might feel like now you actually have something you can move forward into and create a really strong physical reality so there's stability coming through here and there's wealth on the other end of this as well so this could actually be uh you know issues to do with money but it could be related to someone who's actually very wealthy as well uh, but because coupled with that Knight of Pentacles energy, it feels like you now feel like you have, you actually do have a vision of the future where you can see stability, where you can sense that there is something to build upon, where you can see there is growth, where you can see that you can build towards long term wealth and all that sort of stuff. It also is can see a long term future and potential here with somebody. But there's just this real sense of being able to see long term and see that this is something that's going to fulfill you and nourish you on a physical level. So, yeah, beautiful, really, really, really powerful week for you, Libra. 
So there could be some big, big changes and opportunities coming through that are amazing. So I hope that makes sense, Libra. Really amazing energy. Let's move on to Aquarius. Aquarius, how are you this week? How are you? This is your weekly love check-in. Seeing how you're feeling. Message. We're going to pull three cards. So a message for your heart from soul and spirit. And we're going to look at what's transforming in your life and what is resolving on in your love and relationships. So what can we get for Aquarius? What can we get for you, Aquarius? We have little froggy. Oh, I love little froggy. This is healing energy raining down upon you. It's suddenly a downpour. Everything, the message is that you're going to get what you need and what you want this week. And you might have gone a long time without it because, but what it is that nourishes your heart and your soul is coming in. So really awesome energy, Aquarius, to be to be getting because you know, this flood and it, it's like a flood that's coming down on frog. It's raining. So it's like suddenly going from nothing to just suddenly, ah, oh, the drought has been broken and uh, and I'm getting what I need here. So yeah, it's spirit saying it's coming, it's coming, it's coming are the words I keep being given. Aquarius. Okay. So let's see what is transforming in your life in this moment in time. What can we get for Aquarius in love and relationships? We have the Seven of Cups. So I think Gemini might have got a similar um, energy as well. Aquarius, that all this, like the elements have been getting very similar cards. But yeah, what is transforming is possibilities. Things are opening up. So there's no longer one option. There's like lots of options now. So... Like we said, it's it doesn't rain at pause. It's like something you've been asking for. Suddenly you're going to be going, oh, wow, like I wasn't expecting that much. Suddenly I'm like, oh, now I've got like these, this option, this option, this option, you know, so many choices coming in. So, okay, sorry, Aquarius. I'm just having a day of being interrupted. But so let's look at what you can, what is being resolved. So everything's all these new, amazing, oh, balance. <laughs> wow. And that's what we're saying. It's all being brought back into balance. So you've kind of, something you've gone without for a long time is now suddenly it's like, it's been a desert. It's been a drought. Suddenly that's all coming back. There's flow returning. There's things are expanding in your life. If things were feeling stagnant on a love and relationship level or feel like there weren't many options. Whatever it was, things are opening up again and expanding. So that that balance is being restored where you might have just felt frustrated like there. It, it just felt like it was a stuck energy. So beautiful um, energy coming through for you, Aquarius. I think it's going to be beautiful healing energy. Things are going to start opening up and amazing. So I hope that makes sense. Please take care, everybody. And if you'd like to hear more, please like, subscribe or leave a comment. Take care and I'll see you next time. Bye.